Tony, come here, fix the team for me. There you go, boss. Oh, Tony, you're a lifesaver. How do you do it every time? You know, boss, the secret to being a lifesaver is a good, healthy dose of main cards. All right, so before this video starts, please leave a like. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not yet. Also, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Discord. All links will be in the description. Now, let's move on with the video. Siege Master. Order, boost an ally by two. Resupply, boost adjacent siege engines by one. So, this is a resupply card. Resupply working with the Northern Realms Warfare cards, which exist in that faction. And boosting adjacent siege engines by one could give you two points for every sort of warfare card that you do play. So, so let's see what we can do with Siege Master, if we can get the machines going and basically take over the world or something like that. So here's the deck. I'm playing Mobilization with uh, some pretty high up cards, Siege, Neuromancy, Amphibious and Triss. Then I also play Donmir um, just to keep my Siege alive basically and keep all these engines alive as well. Um, then the main like special card that I want to be playing for is Bombardment because I'm gonna have a lot of siege engines on my side of the field like a crap ton with the help of siege um, and also the cards that I'm already running so we could just you know overload the opponent with siege engines and maybe just like get crazy value off of the siege master we'll have to see and it's a quite a slow setup, so we might be quite reliant on the long round, but that's where Amphibious Assault obviously helps us with something like Frigate or Trollolol, which are both pr quite decent engines, and then we could just like maybe play for like a Triss Bombardment or something, if we need to win round one, because Siege is quite a valuable card in this deck, so... We're not running that many Siege engines, apart from the fact that we might play it through Siege, so, yeah, we just have to kind of hope that our Siege Master can kind of carry us, which is why we're also playing Mobilization here. Realistically, yeah, he's the only target for our Mobilization, which is kind of interesting, but yeah. Let's just see what we can do with this deck, pretty much. Alright, we are playing against Nature's Gift. Okay, an interesting little matchup. Um, they might be able to deal with our Defender with Heat Wave, but shouldn't be able to really deal with our Siege, because they will use probably Heat Wave to deal with uh, the Defender. He goes first, so we can actually kind of sort of chill, but at the same time we kind of can chill, since he can just like 2-0 us in certain situations here, so... Let's figure out what we want to do here. I don't think I want this Mauler in that case. We have Natalis, which is quite nice. We want maybe more Siege Engines here, okay. I was hoping for like a frigate here, but we can we can frigate through amphibious assault, which is quite nice. That is actually very nice. So I think do I just start off with amphibious into frigate? I think I start off with this and see what he does. If he rebukes it, it's okay. There's the hammer dryad. We could go for a boiling oil here, honestly. I think I'm just gonna go for a DAA into the Karak frigate. Boost this up a bit so it doesn't play into his rock barrage. If he heat waves us, we're happy, honestly. Jonatalis could play for a bit if we play it with the uh, bombardments. So he banishes my assault, which is okay, I guess. That's not too upsetting here. So I think we go for our siege engines at this point. We're not going to hit this hammer dryad, obviously. We want to play into the heat wave here. wonder if he's going to use... Okay, he's gonna use this. Studying, getting quite a few points here, but we can kill his Treant here, which is nice. And now we can do this and just hit the Squirrel, I guess. Oh, if we had, like, Scorch and, like, this wasn't a 9, we would be in a nice little position, but we don't obviously have these situations. So there's no real reason to play around it. So we know he's not Devotion now, that's good. Oh, he's, got, he's gonna play, like, low point cards. We could play one of the Siege Masters here. He's not really fighting for this round too much. I could also go... Uh, Siege Master's so valuable since it's like one of my only targets for my leader, but I think playing Siege Master here is fine. He probably is gonna pass here though. Oh, okay. He's gonna boost by 8? No, he's gonna give Vitality here. That's interesting. So I could play a six point boiling oil with my Jonatalis here, which isn't terrible. Which one is it gonna be? I think it's gonna be boiling oil here. I think this is fine. 
Oh, he's got so many eights, dude. Okay, so there's his pass. I can Onuromancy for a bad card, but I actually don't want to do that. I think I'm just gonna do this now. Oh, look at the Siege Master doing his work. Question is, do we go for a long round here? I think we're actually not that bad in a long round since we have Heat Wave and the Siege, which is quite convenient. Plus we have Defender as well, but he's we know he's not in Devotion, but then he has to banish our Defender, obviously, which is very good. I am afraid that if he is a Path Coarian, that could be quite devastating, actually. Okay, I don't think I want two Bombardments here. Uh, Mauler is like a Heat Leader target, though. I think we're good with this. Hmm. Question is, do I want to pass here? All right, let's see how good we are in the long round here. I'm not sure. I mean, he is Devotion, so his long round... Uh, I hope he doesn't have Pathco. Uh, he might have Pathco, though. Pathco could be quite an issue for us. Pathco could be quite... I mean, is it, though? Like, is it really an issue, though? Like, because we have Defender. And we can just, like, play Siege. And Siege is pretty good. Okay, so we're going to go for Siege Master Overload here. Um, don't want this Mauler then, because I want to Oneromancy for the Siege Master here. This is a good hand, right? Wait, do we have enough mach- we don't have enough machines here, do we? I would need another machine here. Okay, that's another machine, that's good. So I think he's playing Defender here. Oh, he's Justice. Okay, he's playing Justice. Okay, okay, that's not terrible. Please, okay, he's not gonna play these back row. So I'm just gonna play my Defender here. And then I'm probably gonna play Troll as well. And this is going to be a really slow setup, so I think the long round here is actually perfectly fine. Okay, so he has to play this back row, which gives us an, an opportunity to immediately play the Siege card now. I have to play this as far left as possible, because I want my Siege Master to get all of these Siege Engines in. And then I think I have to... Onero for the Siege Master and then Leader it. This is going to be really slow, but it's going to be really funny at the same time. Like, super, super slow. Like, we're setting up for, like, super, <laughs> like, the super payoff in the end with Triss and Bombardment and such. Like, we're gonna get a lot of points here. Because, I think, yeah, the long round is correct here every time, pretty much. It should be, right? So now we play... I think we play Trollolol first. Yeah, go for the Trollolol here. We're gonna play it super, super slow, guys. Like, really, really slow. Like, incredibly, incredibly slow. Okay, there's Fav. For another Dryad Caress. Fair enough. Okay, so now we go Oneromancy for Siege Master. Also use our leader here. Oh, yeah, baby. We're getting somewhere here. We're getting somewhere here. That is, that is looking tight. That is looking super tight. We have to watch out for row space, though. And that is going to be quite an issue. So there's his shaping nature. It's going to go greedy here. That's fine. So here's our first siege engine. We're going to boost all of these up, I think. This one up as well. And now we are getting so much warfare, dude. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. Jesus Christ. Holy moly. This is gonna be gorgeous. So we play this. Actually, no, I don't. I want to heat wave before I trigger this, so... I think I can just go here and play Triss as my last card, right? Because now I have uninteractive cards, pretty much. Oh, 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 the anima there's so many animations happening at once. Too many animations happening at once here. It's beautiful. Oh, we didn't even hit this once. Oh, these Siege Masters are doing a job here. Oh, if only he had a Geralt. Oh, Geralt. Imagine playing Geralt, dude. Imagine playing Geralt, dude. Oh, look at this boiling oil value as well. I mean, we're making our... Uh, we are kind of making it worse, but that's all right. We still deny him some points. Oh, my God, dude. Holy moly, that is beautiful. This defender had no way of living. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh. Uh, Okay, so I think last say onto Gord. I think his Gord is last card, so I think I'm I'm gonna be feeling safe to do this now. And I have to play her here. Hopefully we. Oh, are you serious? Are you actually serious? We missed. 
Every... <laughs> How did we miss all the warfare cards? Oh, dude, how did that just happen? That's a bit ridiculous. That's a tad bit annoying, actually. <laughs> we missed... <laughs> we only played, like, two warfare cards this round, didn't we? We played the one bombardment and the one boiling oil, dude. How did we miss... <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's actually quite funny. I mean, he doesn't have the points here anyway, because, like, Siege is Siege. Like, this this trebuchet got, like, what? Ten, like, nine points alone? Like, that's so crazy. All right, let's see who we're playing against here. Hopefully our... Oh. Ooh. Ah. Ah. I don't know what to think about this matchup, actually. It could be... It actually could be kind of okay, if I'm honest. It could be kind of okay. Siege can carry us quite hard here, actually. We have the Amphibious Assault, which is nice. We do go first, though. That is a problem. Going first here is quite the issue. We have a few machines, actually. Maybe a bit too many machines, if I'm honest. Maybe Mulligan the Bombardment. Nice Mulligans. Okay, we get the Boiling Oil. That's not terrible, because it's more targeted. All right, so let's see. I mean, do I want to keep this hand? Do I want to keep this Ballista card? Okay, we have... Ah, uh, Frigate. Actually, Frigate isn't terrible here. Frigate is not terrible here, by any means. So we just use Frigate and TA on it, that should be okay. Unless it has like Geralt or something like that, but this deck doesn't usually run Geralt, not that I remember. So this should kind of secure our round here, which is very nice. We can also play like Amphibious Assault for something if we need to. Put the pressure on him. As as we I've learned from the last game, that's actually very important that the last game went the way it did. Like our, our long round is pretty good, but so is like Shield Wall's long round. So we have to actually, uh, I don't know how to actually deal with the matchup now. Okay, so he's gonna probably do the same now. Hmm. Hmm. I think I just do this now. Click the button. The question is, do I go for Ballista or Caraballista? I think I have to go for Caraballista, if anything. To set up... Uh, this doesn't even kill it, does it? Uh, that's annoying. Okay, is he boosting this up? Okay, he's not. Okay. So I think I play my reinforced ballista here. Give her the armor. I think it's a she. Machines usually are she, in my honest opinion. Like a boat is a woman. A ballista is a woman. Like, uh, uh, yeah, you gotta believe me, boys. Here, I, that's just my opinion. I, I, I'm always gonna like say a machine is is a woman. I don't know why. I don't know why that is actually though. That's uh, that might be a bad sort of habit. So he has to use this, right? Uh, okay. We could have killed that, but is that worth killing? Honestly, I don't think so. So what do we go for here? We could go for second ballista. We could go for like a C uh, or AA into something. Do you want to keep my AA? Hmm. Huh. I could also... Actually, no, I can't pass because I click this. I think I'm going to go for the Caraballista here. I want to kill his uh, little frigate here, if I can. I'm, I'm making my, my space a bit awkward, but... Yeah, that's the problem with formation. It's like, makes row space a bit awkward with Northern Realms. Okay, so there is that. I still think I would kill the... The, the, the frigate here. In all honesty. So, yeah, do that. And then see what we do next. And says... What is the smork sh Okay, so I think I have to go... What if I pass here? I don't want to pass here, do I? I uh, might have to go for second ballista here. But it's not enough points. But I get the, the round control at least. He's played as Anse, so that takes away like a threat from. Um, yeah, okay, I probably have to slow play this at this point. See if he passes here. Okay, there's boiling oil. Oh, purifying my volunteer is so powerful. Okay, just do this now. Do I have bombardment? No, bombardment isn't doing much difference from boiling oil here. It's one extra point, but it, we kill the thing with it. I mean, you could just pass here, right? So there's no point in playing these. This Ensei's card is a pretty busted card, isn't it? Okay, so he passes here. I guess we just go for the Assault now for... 
Uh, I don't think I want to actually play for a Ballista here. Actually, just play, probably going to play for Mauler. Okay, so we are going to have to go for the long round here, which isn't terrible, but like... Yeah, the Anse is just... I guess we played it a bit too slow there. We actually had a nice pass. Did we, though? I don't think we actually ever had a pass there. I, I, I was kind of like looking for round control, and we got round control, which is important. That's a pretty good hand, eh? Alright, I, I think we could just like... Uh, actually, no. I think I want to just pass, go for the long round, see if Siege does anything for me. Okay, he's playing his... Whoa, okay, so his hand is absolutely stacked here. That's actually kind of crazy. If he has to assault in rounds two on the dry pass, his hand is so stacked. So I guess we not bleeding there was fine, because our hand is kind of stacked too, so we're not really trading anything then. We do have the assault though, which is quite huge. Um, and he doesn't have Anseys anymore, which could be quite useful. So I think I'm going to assault for an, a Siege Master and Onera for a Ballista. So I don't necessarily need this card. This card could be useful. Any sort of Warfare card actually is quite useful here. But I need to sort of like... Okay, I think now I actually have to keep this hand at this point. We don't have... We have like... What? We actually have a few Warfare cards here. Actually, no, I think I own Narromancy for the Siege Master, and then, yeah, 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 I own Narromancy for Siege Master, because it doesn't take away a Warfare trigger. We have to play this slow, obviously, I think. Playing it slow is quite important. Oh, he's... Oh, he's playing a Dahlia here, okay. So... We could also just set up our Siege immediately, but then he can kill stuff, which isn't good, so I'm just gonna set up my Defender now. And play Siege next turn. This is yet again the slow setup that we have. Oh, okay, so he's got the... He sadly does have the Seltkirk available to him now. That could be quite the issue. Being able to deal with our defender here quite easily. Ah, it's not actually that easy, honestly. Okay, so there's a Seltkirk. Deals with my defender. Okay, so... I guess now I have to just Siege Master and pray it doesn't die. <laughs> Big, big if, but we have to obviously do it at this point. Alright, hit the armor, because you've hit the shield already. Okay, you don't hit the armor. Good job. Now we're kind of just trying to get it go off here. Okay. We still have a heat wave to sort of tall punish stuff. Let me do this. Let me do this. And now we got banging points. Oh, there's the Tritum. I think this is probably going to be our heat wave target at this point. Or is it? Wait a minute. We could actually kind of set this up nicely. So I think I'm a fib. I do this and I go reinforce ballista front row so I can get an extra charge. Go boom. Hit this down to. Nice. Hit this down to three. Kill this. And hit this down to a two. Oh, right, look at the points, guys. Look at the points! What's he gonna do? Like, what is he actually gonna do? Play the Zagoda? Get out of here! Seriously, get out of here. What are you doing, playing the Zagoda on my turf? Okay, so that's my heat wave then. Get out of here, Vizagoda. And now we got, we got brr, brr cards. P cards to just go brr. Hey, lovely! Yo, Siege is a nuts card, isn't it? Yo, these, these Siege Masses are pretty nuts as well, if you think about it. Oh, look at the drummer! Look at the cute little drummer! Ain't that a cutie? Boom! Look at that! You got how many points per turn? I got so many points per turn here, buddy. I got way too many points for you. Look at this! Look at this, guys! Look at this! Look at this, guys! This game's easy! Oh, uh, okay, we get the Bombardment. Do I actually want to kill something with Bombardment? Eh, that's just bombardment, whatever. Oh, look at the points! Look at the points! Oh, dude. Oh, we hit, we kill this because it's a soldier. Oh, and we can also heal. Oh, dude, look at the points! Look at the points! Siege is broken! We beat shield while in the long round, and it's not even close. Oh, look at the Viraxis. It's not even like, oh, it's not going to be even enough. Look at that. Absolutely glorious. Oh, the Siege Master isn't even a soldier. Alright, so far Siege Master has been... Oh, Siege Master. Siege Master is going to be put to the test against the control 
matchup. I don't think he's gonna be playing the same deck as I am, so there's that. I guess I can keep the Frigate. It's good in round one. I don't really have a soldier here, though. I might want to find one of these soldiers that I have in my deck. I guess I get rid of Boiling Oil. Okay, Troll is a nice soldier. Troll is a decent little soldier. I guess I can get rid of Ballista. All right, Royal Guard's a better soldier for the Frigate, at least. Hand's not looking terrible. Definitely a playable hand. Question is, though, do I start with this and then go Frigate? Because this dies very easily. But he doesn't actually want to kill my units initially, right? He doesn't actually want to kill this. He wants to damage it down and then kill whatever happens next. There is a Redanian Archer, which is fine. It's a bit annoying, but we can kind of deal with it. It's not the it's not the end of the world, let's just say it like that. I could go, go Bombardment next turn, maybe, to remove the armor on this. This is not a terrible Bombardment, if I'm honest. But I might want to set up like a Trollolo as well here. I think Trollolo is good in round one. Doesn't really do much in any other round, to be fair. Uh, Heatwave doesn't really do much either here. Because he's playing the Triss variant. Which means he's not too hard on tall punishes here. Alright. What's my man gonna do here? We click this because we can just do the boiling oil. We have Oneromancy for the AA, which is good. I think I'll just play the Bombardment next. It is kind of... Uh, it's going to struggle to find actual value, though. Okay. But I think point-wise, we should be in an alright position here. If we just play the Bombardment and trigger the Trollolol. We hit this armor twice, though. Question is, does he go for a long round here? Wait, did he accidentally hit with his Revenant first? With his Revenant, Pingo. Okay, so there's his Natalis. For his AA. Ooh, that's a good heat wave though. That is a very good heat wave. That looks actually very nice. I'll take this heat wave actually. Getting rid of his Ronvid could be quite nice. Could be very helpful here. Plus we're putting in on some pressure here without really committing much. So he passes here. And I think we're actually just good to bleed him with our Siege now. Maybe we don't play for Siege Masters. Nah, we probably should still play for Siege Masters, right? Ah, uh, but like, uh, the short round is... For us right now, I think the short round is quite better. This is an interesting one. Do we go for... Do we just go for triple long round? I think we should just go for triple long round here. I think triple long round is the way to go with this deck. Like, honestly. I might want a... Curse of Corruption can't be baited with anything but Donamir. Except we play... Unless we play Amphibious Assault for something. Han's not looking too shabby here. We could mulligan this one bronze machine into another bronze machine. Oh, that's not a good hand. I mean, we miss out, like, reinforcements. And honestly, other than that, we kind of have everything, to be fair. So there is his, his dudes. His annoying little dudes. These dudes are quite annoying. So I think I just go Donmir here. His long run might just overpower us here. He does have Curse. Okay, so we our Siege is screwed here. Without Siege, we're kind of absolutely screwed. Yeah, I, I have to play the Siege now, but I think we're screwed no matter what we do now. At this point, I think this is just game over. Yeah, there you go, just GG. We probably should have bled here, because like everything we just played dies now. Like, this is going to be quite an interesting little matchup here. Um, gonna play my Carabalist, I guess. I guess we just play for the max points at this point. But, like, everything just dies now. It's kind of ridiculous how everything literally just get uh, everything just dies now. Like, it's not even funny. Holy crap, this is actually kind of funny. How are we meant to deal with this? I mean, we are, we, we should have just bled, right? We, we, we made a mistake. We thought that we actually had a chance here, but then he has these two cards and that just counters us quite severely. So we just go, I, I don't know like how to actually win this one, but we can try, but it's going to be quite difficult. I should have probably played this first, but we didn't have enough machines in our hand. Oh, we actually did, though. We actually did, though. Okay, this could be quite alright. Could, like, ping down a few stuffs here. So we're probably not going to play for Siege Master Valley at this point anymore, anyway. Uh, okay, we just have to hit this Revenant once. Okay, nice. And we can ping this down as well. Then I'm five more points. 
She has six damage lined up though, that's gonna be quite annoying. There's the AA. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, these archers. Oh, these bloody archers. <laughs> what am I gonna do against these archers, man? There's nothing I can do here, right? There's actually nothing. I guess I just go here now. Like, we're down by so many points anyway, like, we're just getting barraged here, like... I should've pushed, yeah, I should've definitely pushed. This was a mistake not to push there. Okay, I just wanted to experiment here with the matchups here, and, and I, I would say this one's quite unfavored because they have ways to deal with Defender and the thingy at the same time, which is quite problematic. Oh my goodness. Yeah... I, is there a point in playing this out? I guess we can just, like, see how much we actually lose by here. Yeah, these, these archers have done bits for him. Yeah. Interesting. Just kill the Sheila, I guess. I mean, this is more, right, to kill even. Actually, no, it isn't. At this point, it isn't. Dude, we're down by, like, 18, 19 points here. Oh, we should have probably used the... the Order on the Siege Master. Yeah. I mean, I don't think the two points here <laughs> make a difference in the slightest. So, yeah, that's gonna be. That, 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 that is fun. This is a fun little game there. <laughs> Everything just dies. Everything just dies, dude. That's actually kind of funny. And he's got Squirrel as his last card. 30 points. He's up by 30 points here. Like, that's just a bit ridiculous. Yeah, I shouldn't have passed. I, sh I should have gone for the bleed there. Like, I need to force out his stuffs. If I don't force out his stuffs, I'm, I'm gonna be in a bit of trouble. Let him develop his archers in the long round, which is not what you want in this situation. So that's on me. Earth sign ritual, please. Okay, I was hoping that he goes first and he does go first. So that's quite big for us. Now, question is, does he play like the, the more control heavy variant or the point heavy variant? The two questions you ask yourself in life. We don't have ways to boost the Frigate here. I would like to have ways to boost my Frigates. We have the Royal Guard, technically. I guess we mulligan one of the Bombardments. Actually, no, but, like, Bowling Oil plays for less than Bombardment here. Because he's not... Like, usually, if, if they play units, it's gonna be, like, bad units. You know what I mean? If we can deal with bad units, that's fine. Like, Boiling Oil just plays for 4 a lot in this situation. Like, the only cards that actually plays for 5 is, like, Burna. Okay, that, 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 that just plays that now. I mean, if I can kind of, like, actually contest this round, I'm actually not in a terrible spot. Not... Okay, but this is a lot of tempo, isn't it? They're just, like, play bad cards at this point. I think I should just play bad cards at this point. And just give up on the round. Like, we can do that, the points in three cards, we should be able to. But I think his deck is more point-based than it is sort of control-based, yeah. So usually the deck would run, like, Gutting Slash instead of this. I don't know, kill this for no reason. If he passes here, he's misplaying, but I don't think he ever passes here. Because now he just needs to play cheap bronzes and gets away with it. Seems okay, alright. So, I guess the Boiling Oil could have done something here, but, like, we're down by way too much here. I don't think I'm gonna think about even contesting this. I would like maybe a, an Amphibious Assault. That would be quite nice. That would be actually very nice. I'm actually very, very happy if that happens. Okay, so, maybe two of these is a bit redundant. Ah, okay, this is, hand this is a bad hand. I mean, we have Siege, but we're lacking a bit of Assault. No Assault, no Nero, no Natalis. Could definitely be a problematic situation. We could. Uh, I don't want to force siege here, though. Forcing siege seems like a, a throw. I could kind of just play Donmir and play for the frigate. I can see that being an option. That's actually a good option, I would say. If I can get the frigate value this round. Okay, so he's playing Lippy here. Which oh, he had Eerden. Okay. Ah, okay. So that's how he punishes like greedy decks. Okay. That makes sense. So we play the Donmir here, I think. And I can see him just trying to 2-0 us at this point. Maybe I should have played this front row, actually. Actually, no. If I want to play Siege, I, I should always play Donmir. So we're gonna try and find as many of these. Like, the value on a lot of these cards is quite neat, niche. Because we can still find, like, Oneromancy, right? He's thinned our deck here as well. So he's gonna go for an all-out play then. Which means we're kind of forced into an all-out play at this point as well. So we just do this, right? 
And I think I'm just gonna... Okay, so he passes after playing Ceres. Okay, so what do we do now? We need a few points here, actually. What was the point of that bleed? Man, I wish we had... Jonatalis here. I think we have to play this. We might have to go two cards down here, right? Yeah, we do have to go two cards down here. Yeah, it feels kind of bad, but I think we have to do this. So, yeah, we just have to let the long round carry us. Like, this deck doesn't really play for that good of a long round. He's already played all, pretty much everything, right? Like, Ceres? He doesn't have Ceres anymore. How's he... What's he got? Like, yeah, he's got a card up, but... What's it actually going to do anything? So the problem now is we have to get a bunch of siege engines, which it's not looking like we're getting. Oh boy. Holy moly, look at the warfares. Jesus Christ. Look at the warfares, dude. Absolutely insane warfare cards. Like only, we only have warfare cards here in this hand. Literally only warfare cards and the, the heat wave and like it. No, like these aren't actual uh, I think I just have to do this At this point Because I, I have like no units in this hand. I have nothing. I guess I play for ballista here I mean if he heat waves this I'm happy, right? <laughs> Where are my units? How did this happen? Oh, now he's all of a sudden control. Now all of a sudden he's playing the super hyper control deck. That makes sense, I guess. Just plays my troll a little here. How do we just draw all the? How do we draw all the warfare cards here? That's quite impressive, actually. Oh, we missed out reinforcements. To be fair, so not not all the the cards just yet. So he thinned his deck to absolute zero, which could be interesting. I don't think he played this optimally. If he has more thinning cards like Oneromancy and stuff, how, what's what's he gonna do here? He has to discard like Oneromancy, right? Or like Decrees and stuff. So what does he discard here? What did he discard? He discarded Crow Messenger because he has dead Crow Messenger in his hand. That feels kind of funny. So we play the Ballista here. And... Yeah, we just keep her going here. We just keep her going. We got nothing better to do but just to play points here at this point. So many points. Nice four point card. Oh, oh yeah, because it's in graveyard, I guess that makes sense then. Sure, let's just play boiling oil, I guess. Go for the hits on these cards. Oh, he has Arnvald? That's so good. I didn't expect him to have Arn. I mean, Arnvald isn't terrible, actually. He's got, he's got a good ceiling nowadays. With the introduction of the new bear abomination. He's not terrible. Okay. That's a seven. Just do this, right? Purify his bear. So good. <laughs> just play just playing a bunch of warfare cards, eh? Okay, nice little skirmisher. I think I have to heat wave this, right? He's always gonna play Viltkarl next. We have ten armor on Trollol, by the way. I mean to be fair, like this, there's no real difference what we do here. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I can boost this, I guess, it finally. Okay. In case he has another uh, Golden Throff. Which he might have, so he, he gets... We get good value on the Heat Wave in that situation. I mean, he probably has, like, Heat Wave and uh, Viltkarl here as the last two cards, which might be enough for him. If he has double last say. Alright, nice. There's our Heat Wave, then. Cheeky little Heat Wave. So there you go. Play the Heat Wave. And we got we got a pretty big troll here. We, the siege master also kind of did a lot of work. Like he got four extra points. <laughs> it's gonna be fourteen. It's gonna be nineteen points on troll. Yeah, talk about like value on one card. Wait, what? Oh my god, this guy. What has he done? Does he not have Vilt Carl here? Jesus. Oh, you have to play this. Oh, that's so sad. That's why you had to do that. Oh, guys, look at this trollolo value. Oh, that's what you love to see. So, I don't think any... Like, okay, two cards. Two cards that do it here. Irden, he already got rid of. <laughs> Heat wave, I don't think, is enough. Yeah, this is... this is. I mean, this guy misplayed, like, completely, but that's fine. I mean, that was quite funny, though. Like, the trollolo was pretty big. So, Siege Master. What an interesting card! I was pleasantly surprised with this one, actually. Because in the games that 
we played for the Siege Master, and where we were actually allowed to sort of play our strategy, the Siege Masters popped off. Like, with the help of mobilization, having two of these, getting four points for every Warfare card you play, is kind of bonkers, honestly. But obviously you have to be careful for matchups like Precision Strike or the Mobilization Revenant deck, where they just have so much control that they're just kind of outpointing you in every situation. So it's probably not good against those matchups. But even against Shield Wall, it did quite well because it just outpointed things like Ana. It outpointed things like Visigoda because we were able to play it really nicely with Defender. And yeah, I think against Skellige it might also struggle a bit, but then you have Siege, which helps out in that situation because Siege is just a really powerful card to have against Skellige since they don't really run artifact removal. And yeah, in general, I would say this card is kind of playable. I mean, it's obviously not competitive, but in a Siege deck, if you're playing for like multiple bombardments and like the best sort of warfare cards that exist in the game, you can definitely get some good value out of this card, especially in a long round. And yeah, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed that little Siege Mastery. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe for more Gwent content, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>